Okay, just as we have with normal uh, track identities, we have a whole bunch of hyperbolic track identities. And again, you'll be given these in um, exams if you ever needed them. But some of them look very similar to the uh, standard track identities, things like you know, in the series cos squared plus sine squared equals 1, here it's cos squared minus sine h squared equals 1. So the similarities, and um, just like with the track identities, we need to be able to, um, to prove them. So I'm going to just show one, uh, prove one for you for... Um, so you can see it's done. Basically, the simple way to do it is just to put them back into their exponential definition. So, cos uh, h is e to the x plus e to the minus x over 2 squared, minus sine h is e to the x minus e to the minus x over 2 squared. And you want to show that equals 1. So, let's uh, expand the brackets. So, if the first one is certainly going to be over 4, we're going to get e to the 2x. And then we're going to get um, two lots of that times that. Now, e to the x times e to the minus x is 1, um, because if you want to think about that, e to the x times e to the minus x is e to the x minus x, which is e to the power of 0, which is 1. And there'll be two of those, so that's 2. And then e to the minus 2x minus, doing the same with the, uh, the sine one, we're going to get e to the 2x minus this time uh, 2 plus e to the minus 2x. So altogether that's going to be over 4 and what have we got that minus that 2 take away negative 2 is positive 2 and e to the minus 2x minus e to the minus 2x. So those guys go out and we'll leave with 4 over 4 which we'll rename as 1 conveniently, which is what we're trying to prove. So the way to prove um, hyperbolic trick identities is just to put them into the e to the x forms and play around with your rules of exponents.